A new era in South Carolina football begins tonight. Native son Shane Beamer has returned home as head coach of the Gamecocks. The 44-year-old South Carolina native has inspired this fan base and his players. And a final hug from his father, legendary head coach Frank Beamer, before he makes his head coaching debut tonight at Williams-Brice Stadium. And tonight we kick things off as Eastern Illinois visits Columbia to battle the Gamecocks. That's remarkable experience here in the SEC, both at South Carolina, as I mentioned, also with Kirby Smart in Georgia, most re recently with Lincoln Riley at o Oklahoma. So a lot that he's been able to compile. And he told us yesterday, Bill, he's got a booklet where he's taking notes on offenses and defenses, staff guys he'd like to have if he ever became a head coach, all the way down to room assignments and travel. So the guy has a crazy amount of attention to detail, and he's been planning for this night for a long time. You can see he's smiling. He's taking it all in, and so are the fans. This is one of the great stories of this weekend all around the country and in the SEC. The fans are back. Oh, we're back here. Happy to be back here with all the fans. Happy to be back with the tradition. You can hear the 2001 Space Odyssey in the back, one of the greatest atmospheres in all of college football here under the lights of William Price Stadium. Let's go down to the third member of our crew now, Alex Chappell with Coach Shane Beamer. Coach Beamer, tonight's the night, your head coaching debut. What's this moment like for you? Unbelievable. You picture how it's going to go, you envision it in your head, but we got the most amazing fan base in the entire world, and the energy in here right now is unbelievable. Coach, what was the message to your team before tonight's opener? Let's just play the play the way that we want to play. Make sure we put it tape, put it on tape, fast, physical, and celebrate with each other, and just a whole lot of joy. These guys have been through a lot uh, the last year, and I can't wait to watch them play tonight. Thank you for your time, Thank Coach you. Bill. And so Katrenic, the former Duke Blue Devil, makes his debut for the Panthers, and a first down throw for him. And it's an interception. Gamecocks get the game's first turnover. It was tipped and picked off by Foster. And the senior from Duncan, South Carolina, has the Gamecocks in business. Trinick tried to make a safe throw outside, back shoulder. You're thinking worst that happens is it's incomplete, but the ball gets tipped up in the air. Great coverage pressing the receiver to the sideline. Good defensive play there, and I believe it was Darius Rush that made the deflection so his teammate could come in and pick that ball off. Great start in the Clayton White era here for the South Carolina defense. In this series, catch Eastern Illinois defense out of position. And not letting them substitute along the goal line. Nolan to the air. It's caught. No signal yet. That Touchdown. Is. Marcus Satterfield told us Nick Muse was going to be a vital part of the offense this year. Just plays a little bit of post-up basketball there. Gets his position, uses that big body, catches the football solidly and falls over the, the end zone for the first touchdown of the Shane Beamer era. Let's see if they go for two. They're going to. They flip it over to the left. 8-0 Gamecocks. Muse gets all eight points. He catches the touchdown, and he scores the two-point conversion. What are the odds of that? I like the aggressiveness. Coach Beamer told us anything goes. Put the pressure on the opposition. 
So it is an eight point play for number nine. Nick Muse gets all eight points. Shane Beamer and the Gamecocks take an eight nothing lead. Nolan in the gun, Lloyd off his right hip on fourth and goal. To the end zone, touchdown! Bill, nice job by Zeb Nolan letting things Kind of clear out a little bit, waited for his tight end to come across the middle of the end zone, and Jaheim Bell showing you why the coaches feel like he's one of these super talented tight ends that are going to have a chance to play at the next level. He's got the size, he's got the athleticism that time. Great ball skills to go up and catch the football with his hands. Parker White in to attempt the PAT. And White connects on his first kick of the season. And the South Carolina Gamecocks and Shane Beamer's debut are off to a good start. It is 15-0 South Carolina. Zeb Nolan in his first start for South Carolina. Two touchdown passes in his debut. That has his head coach pumped in the early going. And his uh, coach Kuzieski the offensive coordinator says no he's a nerd they come for the block and they get it the first block of the Shane Beamer era and what do you know it is Beamer ball in South Carolina Bill they almost had a chance to get it on the last punt this time they came right up the middle about two or three different players probably could have blocked it Great job getting the hand extended. I believe that was Jaheen Bell that got the arm out and blocked the ball. Jordan Strachan, I believe, will get credit for it. It's not a turnover, but it is the first block punt of the Shane Beamer era. Looking for his third score of the game. He's got it. Touchdown, South Carolina. Bill, it was dealer's choice that time for Zeb Nolan. Two receivers running wide open in the end zone, one completely uncovered but finds Josh Van for the touchdown. And the thing that I like best about that, Bill, you saw Zeb Nolan recognize the defense, check to a different play at the line of scrimmage, something that Coach Satterfield said he has complete autonomy to do. That time, check to the right play, turns it into six. Parker White knocks home another extra point, and the Gamecocks extend their lead to 22-0. I don't know. We had this debate recently. If you had to take a... Good defense or a good offense in today's college football, which would you choose? They may have got a piece of they that. They did. That's the second blocked punt of the game for the Gamecocks. Oh, this is a vintage Beamer ball game, isn't it? And the second blocked punt of the first half. Well, you know, he called the timeout. Now they have a minute 33 remaining. It's going to be first and goal with 45 seconds remaining. Nolan has already thrown three touchdowns in the first half. Can he get four? Yes. Yes, he can. Touchdown, South Carolina. White leaps across the goal line. And again, Bill, that's that added dimension that Marcus Satterfield loved about Saquandre White. The ability to catch the football out of the backfield. And that time... Eastern Illinois unloaded, brought everybody. And a great job by Zeb Nolan of finding an open receiver in the flat and getting the ball out of his hands before Eastern Illinois could take him down behind the line of scrimmage. Snaps a bit low, well placed, and the kick is good. 
And in the final minute of the first half, the Gamecocks extend their lead. With Parker White making the extra point. 29 nothing is the score. And Zeb Nolan's going to remember his debut in this stadium, isn't he? Fourth touchdown pass. Again, he saw the pressure coming up the middle. He recognized it. Get the ball out of his hand to his running back in the flat. He was able to get, convert. Another passing touchdown, as you said, for Zeb Nolan. Pretty good debut for the once GA turn starting quarterback. Here's Parker White, the veteran who's been nearly money in the bank in his career for the Gamecocks. And that one was right down the middle. Three more for South Carolina. White connects. Gamecocks 32 and Panthers nothing. About the type of person that Jason Brown is, is how accepting he was of the coach's decision. Said he was going to still continue to work despite Zeb Nolan getting the opportunity to start in game one. First pass for Brown as a game caught down the sideline, and it's incomplete. It was caught by Brooks, but he was out of bounds. Brooks is saying, I got my foot in. <laughs> But the officials said, son, no, you don't. Ten seconds to go. He did make a nice catch. Let's take a second look. Jim Brown did a nice job rolling out. Oh, he Ooh. might have a... Yeah, he's got a point. My apologies, Jalen. He said, I got my foot in. The official said, no, no Let's review as of yet. Jalen's like, I told you. What did I say? I told you. Right? The ruling on the field is an incomplete pass. The previous play is under further review. After further review, the receiver possessed the ball inbounds. We have a catch and a first down at the 42-yard line. One of the questions for him this season was could he become a little more consistent catching the football? Had an opportunity early in the game that he wasn't able to cash in on that time, showing solid hands going up and getting the football coming down in the field of play and great awareness to drag that right foot before going out of bounds. Nebraska transfer, Wandale Robinson with a couple touchdowns, catches. Josh Ali had one as well. Yeah, they, the two of those dudes combined had 10 catches for 261 yards. That's a day's work. Here's a breakaway run for White, and he will score. 63 yard Carolina touchdown. Bill, I was shocked yesterday when Marcus Satterfield started talking about other running backs besides Kevin Harris and Marshawn Lloyd being the most impressive backs during camp. So Quandre White was one of those guys, and I see why now. Big night tonight for White, former FSU player turned Gamecock. Extra point is good. Well, they got a beautiful Bermuda grass field here in Columbia, and White just blazed through 63 yards of it to the end zone. Another game caught touchdown. They convert on fourth down, and the Panthers looking to get on the board. Katronic's pass picked off. Here come the Gamecocks. Here comes Birch on cue to the house. It's almost like we drew that up, Bill, right? Well scripted there, talking about Jordan Birch, making a play. Guy that's known for rushing the quarterback that time, showing some athleticism, catching the football, and then the breakaway speed left every pursuing Eastern Illinois player. What a great way to start his second season here in Columbia. You grow up in this town of Columbia, South Carolina. It's Gamecocks all the time, right? When you're 
a high school football star and you stay home, you dream of a play just like this. Jordan Birch goes officially 61 yards to the house. Smiles all around for the Gamecocks tonight in Columbia. First South Carolina coach to get a shutout in his first game. Whoa, since 1944, and he gets the Gatorade bath. Welcome home, Shane Beamer. Well, he's a wet coach, but he's a happy coach. Definitely it was happy Beamer coach. ball in the first half, and they finish it off by the final score of 46 to nothing in his first game. Not the cleanest game, but a lot of positives to look at, some things that you can clean up, as I said a second ago. But most importantly, they got the victory. They got a chance to play a lot of guys, got an opportunity to get some things on tape that they can evaluate. So all in all, I think a raving success in game one of the Shane Beamer tenure here in Columbia, South Carolina. They'll get ready for East Carolina in Greenville, followed by the Georgia Bulldogs in Athens. Two games in a row coming up for Shane Beamer and his Gamecocks. Opening night, a happy one for South Carolina. Beamer ball in the first half, a couple of block kicks, a pick six, a game full of tackles for loss. Roaring Gamecock fans and an opening night win. Our final score tonight, 46-0 South Carolina wins for Chris Doring, Alex Chapel, and our entire crew. This is Bill Roth saying good night from Columbia.